Hello everyone, welcome back. So hopefully you have already subscribed our channel and Hello Teen Academy deals with the issues related to English language and literature, education, career and research. So today we are going to discuss about the segments of a research paper. That means the parts that an ideal research paper needs to have. So if you want to write a journal article, you have to mention or you have to write uh, on those uh, parts or on those segments. You have to elaborate your ideas uh, following those segments. So, and to discuss on those segments or the parts of research paper, we have selected a journal that is Journal of ELT and Education. And to select this journal, uh, there is a reason behind this because this journal and Hello Teen Academy have some associations. So Journal of ELT and Education, a multidisciplinary research journal and it's a quarterly research journal. Uh, if you are uh, watching here, it's a quarterly research journal and this journal has both print ISSN and online ISSN. So and this in this journal there, in every journal, there are author's guidelines. So in this journal, there are guidelines also. There are some guidelines like manuscript preparation, publication policies, scopes, and frequently asked questions. So uh, if we press this one, manuscript preparation, we'll find some ideas to write a research paper for this journal. And we have found this that these uh, segments are really crucially important for an ideal research paper uh, to write for a journal. Okay, so let's get to the point directly. So these are the parts of a research paper. This journal requires a research paper to have all those segments. And also, these segments are imperative to uh, write an ideal research paper for any good journal. So let's discuss directly. The first one is title. So you have to mention the title. No? So, and your title should be precise, brief, and it should be, it should not be more than 13 words in my uh, personal opinion please try to uh, try to limit your title within 12 words or 13 words but if there is a crucial need you can extend your title but try to limit it in 12 words okay so um, after that you have to mention your author's names and affiliations. That means your names and aff affiliations. And if you have any co-author, you have to mention his or her name and affiliations. Affiliations means your affiliated institutions or your designations. And please mention your email ID there also. And uh, some journals also ask you to write your ORCID ID. And if you don't have your ORCID ID, please uh, visit ORCID website and uh, create an account and have an ORCID ID because if you want to be a researcher you must have an ORCID account okay it's very important uh, so after author's affiliation you have to put your abstract I'm not saying you have to write I said you have to put your abstract there you have to put down your, your abstract uh, your abstract is actually the summary of your research paper so that means after completing your research you need to write the abstract so but after completing though you write your abstract after completing your research paper you have to put it down just after your title okay so and what should you mention in your abstract let's see so here there is an instruction briefly discuss the subject matter that means the issues related to your title and objectives that means your goal 
the goal of your research paper, the objective, the aim of your research paper, then methods, what methods you used and findings, what you found uh, during research or after completing your research. You have to mention very specifically, very briefly in abstract section. So it's, an summa it's a summary of your entire research paper. So don't uh, forget to write these four issues inside your abstract. And in most of the good journals, uh, abstract is limited in 200 words. So uh, keep it in mind and just uh, check the journal submission guidelines before you submit a research paper in the journal. After that, you have to mention some keywords, like four to six keywords. Keywords are uh, some of your focused words, some of, you, uh, some of the words from your entire research paper that are really focused, that are really, uh, uh, really imperative for your research paper and that, uh, that can give some idea, some um, thoughts about your research paper in a very credible way. Okay? So abstract and keywords are the two parts that actually provides or gives an overview of your re entire research paper. The researchers or readers or scholars can easily have the idea uh, about your research paper from abstract and keywords. So you should write the abstract after completing the research paper and put it down uh, after just after the title uh, whenever you submit your paper. So after that, you have to write introduction. That means you have to start your uh, main paper, main document, and your introduction should include general introduction. That means some general ideas about your topic. Then you should state the problem, that why you are making this research, what was the problem behind this, and actually what you are going to solve after doing this research. Then rationally, you have to justify your study, your research study, the, your entire research study here. And it's an, I should say it's a logical explanation of your uh, work. Then study periods. So in the study period, you need to mention. So rationally and study period uh, in some journals uh, rational and study periods are optional uh, to mention, but you may mention it also uh, uh, in the introduction chapter or in the introduction segment. After that, you need to mention the limitations if you faced any during your research work. If you have any limitations, you need to uh, clearly mention that. And if you don't have any limitations, just uh, skip this segment. Then we have objective, the goal of your research, the, the major aim of your research study. And objectives may be of two types, general and specific, or you may write the, uh, you may write only uh, objective or objectives. If you have one objective, one broad spectrum objective, just mention that. And if you feel that you have a general objective and few specific objectives, you can mention that also. After that, there is a very crucial part that is literature review. So you have to review the related works that have already been done by other scholars and some literary works that are related to your title or to your work. You have to review those articles. And a very crucial point, I repeat a very crucial point, is specify literature gap. This journal requires uh, you to write the literature gap, the research gap. Okay? In literature review, literature review doesn't mean only to review, but to specify the literature gap. So do not only review the related works and name that segment a literature review, but you should specify your research gap. That means the unexplored area 
that the previous scholars left for you, the unexplored area, undiscovered area, and uh, with which you are working now. So, and after that comes methodology, the materials and methods you used, you need to mention that in this segment, with clear description of methods, qualitative, quantitative, mixed methods, and uh, there are different other methods also, then participants, the number of participants and their demographic information, you, you should uh, put it down there. Then the design, how you conducted your study, how you conducted your survey, and what were your tools like questionnaire survey or uh, like focus group discussion. And also there are different other tools. The tools you used, you need to mention in methodology section. Then the data collection process, so through which tool you collected your data and what was your process, what were your procedures. So that is methodology and after that comes the major parts of the research paper, findings and discussion. What you found after collecting data, after analyzing your data, what you have found uh, you should discuss your findings, your results in this segment, findings and discussion. And you should also relate your results to the previous, other previous works that different scholars and researchers also uh, had done in the related topic. So you should relate your results and findings with their works. So that means if you cite other works uh, other researchers or other authors, your research paper will be enriched and enhanced, okay? So there is findings and discussion. After that, there is recommendations, if any. If you have any recommendations, you should put it down there. And if you don't have any recommendation, just skip this part also, like limitations, okay? Then conclusion. It is another crucial and vital segment. Conclusion, you have to sum up your research paper, you have to conclude with some uh, satisfactory ideas, and finally, I should say at the end of your conclusion, you have to mention some areas that are yet to be explored for further scopes of research. So you have to mention one or two, at least one or two, if you can mention more, that would be better. But you have to mention one or two uh, research areas uh, for further scope, as further scopes for the next researchers in conclusion segment. After that, acknowledgement. If any organization funded your research or supported you, or if any person supported you, you can acknowledge their contribution in this segment. And if there is no uh, person or organization behind your research paper, then there is no acknowledgement. So acknowledgement and recommendations and limitations. So in these, in these three segments, if you have uh, some information, you should write. And if you don't have information in these three, you should just keep the points. So after that references, it's also very important parts. You have to cite different papers inside the text and also uh, you have to refer those papers in details in this segment references and this journal journal of elt and education this journal follows apa format of six edi edition and there are some journals uh, also uh, uh, follow apa format most of the journals follow apa format but there are some journals also that follow MLA format or Harvard referencing. So uh, you have to uh, check the journal's guidelines, uh, the journal where you need to or you want to submit your paper. You have to check the guidelines, what style actually they require or they uh, want. So that and make your research paper as per their rules, as per the guidelines of the journal. So that's all uh, for the discussion of the parts or segments of an ideal research paper. These are the parts 
You can also visit this journal, jee-bd.com, okay? Journal of ELT and Education, and you may have the details. You can have further ideas about these segments. So thank you very much. If you have any queries, please write in the comment section. I will be happy to answer your queries. So till then, thank you very much. Stay tuned. Stay safe.